Well, you all wanted it, so I am back once again with any more tips. This time, we are talking about a core PSO2, since I know a lot of you are actually going back and checking out PSO2, and as some of you probably can tell, PSO2 is a little convoluted, or can be at least. So I am here to, of course, give you guys uh, some tips to help you out if you are just starting to play a PSO2 over on the PS4 or 5. And of course, before we hop into that, welcome back to your number one stop for PSO2 New Genesis Gameplay How To and all that jazz. And like always, wanting to give a giant thank you to everybody that's supporting me for that month over on Twitch and Patreon. But we will go more into that in a bit. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this, and uh, we got some tips that are going to help you. Especially the lap one. Totally not playing into the stereotypes of these types of video. Totally not doing that. Anyway, into PSO we go. So the fourth thing we need to talk about as soon as you get a pat, the little intro bit. Since there is a little bit of a prologue from the beginning of PSO. But once you actually get into the game itself beyond that, the main thing you need to make sure you are doing is a court your dailies also if you uh, need any more help on that make sure you talk to a core uh outfit over okay, here or running around here in the main a uh, lobby of course he will have okay, uh, some uh, quiet order for you and a lot of the quiet orders are very tutorial heavy of uh, which will of course, help you understand such things like psc updating uh your uh, powered and some other aspect of the game early on but outside of doing his quest the other thing you need to be making sure you keeping an eye on and doing uh, which is of course your main missions here uh, these will also very much funnel you through the beginning part of the game teach you a lot more of the world beyond what alvin hill have to teach and of course, start unlocking your daily missions. Because the daily missions are very important once you can get them available. Because they are a huge amount of experience. And also, you will get your hands on uh, some casino tickets as well. Which will come in handy later when we get into that. And then on top of that, you will also get keys as well. And once again, this is very important for a bit. And make sure you get all your daily started because this is like a main quote of making a lot of progress inside of pso2 and then our net tip here is when you are starting out and you are d dropped into the lobby here uh, but you want to start unlocking content beyond what in your main uh, mission or main quest you also want to be heading over uh, to a call at the uh, death counter or quest counter you will find these in moat lobby but the, the easier one to find is here in the main lobby and of course you will find them because there will be npc on the edge of the corner that you can talk to and you want to go ahead and start doing your appositions here and of course appositions are the best way to start unlocking each of the area that you can call travel to uh, to a uh, court do more client order as well as your uh, daily uh, orders as well and by doing this this is also a fantastic way to start building up equipment building up materials as well as leveling as well since as you can tell right now at the time of that video they are having an event in a uh, pso that will give you extra feelings as well as extra well drops as well here and the main reason to also be doing this is this is something you can actually do pretty early on because outside of a handful by a handful i mean like about three to four areas can all be done from literally the beginning of the game all the way up to level 28 and if you are following your main missions and doing these you will hit 28 pretty quickly uh, so this is fantastic to get unlock kill and not only is it to get them unlock but also to help out while you're leveling because while you are leveling you will call unlock other harder versions of that area that will also uh, help you level up like I stated, the main reason you want to do all of these is so uh, you can go ahead and start doing uh, your uh, recommended quests. Recommended quests are four quests that will refresh every day 
uh, that will of course have quests tied to them so if you are trying to uh, get extra bonuses because the daily quest is as you can go ahead and see by parking a vehicle your daily order which you can find on the opposite wall from where we was and he'll and she will have a client order that is tied to them level for the daily and by completing the quests uh, you will get a daily boost that will give you any more percentage uh, to uh, your unlocks as you are going to the quests and the best way to know uh, which one is mainly the daily is the court the quests that will have the up arrows uh, so pretty much as you can see all this stuff kind of tied to ghetto heal and also this is something to give you a, a pretty much true line especially early on to level your character and thought being able to do multiple content later on as you are unlocking them so make sure you are doing all this and you will be uh, good to go and as far as our net typical sword heal if you have started a game and let's just say uh, you pick a class you're not the biggest fan of or if you just want to try out other classes there is a easy way to do that don't get me wrong you can court train your class on the fly as you want by of course uh, talking to uh, the wonderful npc here in the main lobby over by all the seats and from here of course you, like you can get? Just go ahead and change your main class and subclass as well. But this will involve you, of course, not only changing the class, but having to get weapons and equipment for that class. So let's say you do not want to go through that effort, especially if you don't know if you're going to actually enjoy the class, as well as the dreadfulness of dealing with, of course, now having more equipment in your inventory, filling it up. There is a better way to, of course, test these out. And of course, that is in the main lobby. We're going to go ahead and talk to the same person who give us our quests. And from here, you can go ahead and take part in plastic quests. These will, of course, let you try out every a single class in the game, no matter what level you are. As well as some other uh, tutorial as well, uh, such as damage calculating, AI ed training, adult black training. Uh, there is a lot here, especially for later on in the game once you start unlocking some of the other content. But you can go ahead and pick whatever a class you want to train and just start the mission itself. And the quest will then go ahead and just give you the equipment you need. And of course, uh, we got a wonderful host here that's going to be uh, walking through the tutorial itself. Uh, so from here, you will... You will the focus gauge is full, flash out with the wand to let the photonic fury burst forth. I forgot how much she talks. But you can go ahead and get equipment given to you and test out the quad to see if it's something to your liking. Or maybe you just want more of an in-depth tutorial to your class. Uh, since some of the classes do get very complex. Especially as you uh, level them up. So this is a fantastic way to try them. And a fantastic way to learn exactly what your class should be doing. Uh, once you take on mission or play co-op with other players. And our net tip is of course something that will require other people. Or you can go ahead and do it yourself by starting a guild. So by joining a guild, clan, or whatever you want to call it, you will get a whole bunch of bonuses, and it's very important to join a clan in bait PSO2. So the main reason for that is of course the wonderful green elevator. You will find these in every a single area inside of the game as far along you in the lobby system uh, so uh, by uh, coming over to one of these not only can you change what block you're playing on as well as move the pso as well but the main entrance here is of course your alliance quarters so if we go ahead and move to a align all alliance quarters here there are a the few things uh, you will note it that will be a big bump to you so if you join a alliance that have been around for a while there is a very high chance the tree here in the middle will be fully grown and the main thing of this is it will give you extra bonuses so if you click on it 
Uh, you can call a water the tree. You will get a, the uh, proton a water. You will get the just by doing activities in the game. You pretty much get them for doing the majority of content in the game. That you can go ahead and water the tree to a court, help it grow and keep it healthy as well. So if you're starting a guild, make sure you're doing this on a regular basis. Because once your tree is fully grown out like that one, you will go ahead and get you uh, some bonuses. So such as upgrade uh, to attack, defense, affiliates, Masetta on, as well as well drop. And as you can see, the percentages in the case of like attack, it is level 8. And now we'll give 20% extra attack. So as you can see, as you water the tree, it will level up and in return give you the boost. The only thing is, you can only accept a one of the boots at a time. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so pick whatever one you are looking for. Be sure you are caught doing this uh, before you take part in any origin quests or any activity at all. That will help you in a lot of ways to not only unlock cosmetic leveling as well as making money. So let's go ahead and now uh, talk about keys uh, which you will go ahead and get one every day from doing your daily also of course we do have weeklies as well which will go ahead and give up two more keys so with a grand total of three keys a week so what these are is a fantastic way for leveling so once again like i talked about earlier make sure you are doing your dailies and when you get your hands on one of these keys just to keep in mind here the key do have a time limit so make sure you stay up to date with when your keys are filing as you can see uh, the key i have did a file and in return i can't do the the quest that it tied to that so these are time sensitive quests or items to unlock said a uh, quest and there is multiple a uh, kind. Not only are they gold and silver key, you will also uh, get other keys such as it Wappy Feeble uh, that is a little more specific. So let's go ahead and break down exactly what the keys are. These are quests that you can take that will give you a crap ton of affiliates and items. And this is the number one way for leveling your characters up extremely quickly. As well as in some ways become pretty, pretty much the main way you're going to level once you get to closer and closer to end game. And the distance between gold keys and silver key is of course silver keys. Uh, you will uh, do the intents of uh, most of the quests is all made up of uh, being in a intent where enemy will just flood in. And you just gotta kill a couple hundred of them. And then at the end of it, you will get a whole bunch of rewards. So, of course, silver will give a okay amount of affiliate. Gold will give you a lot more of affiliate. And, of course, any other, uh, such as the Wappy one, uh, will, of course, give you any more as well as a exclusive item tied to the keys. And that fall of actually using them by coming right back over here in the main lobby to our deck counter lady. Uh, you will of course find the quests under main quests and then bonus quests. And then you can go ahead and pick whatever quest it tied to that key. So make sure you're not letting the file if you can help it. And make sure you are doing it on a court classes that you want to level up. And as well is a court as you level up. Uh, the keys will of course go with you. So of course as you get closer and closer to the end game. The keys will start giving any more affiliates. But nonetheless ideally you might want to save them for end game. But if they're going to file why not take advantage of them any if you are a low level. But you might be wondering what happened if I do not actually use the keys and they do a file. There is a, a wonderful thing you can do here, uh, which is of course that we back out of here. If we head on over uh, to our little shopping cart here and head on down uh, to flop shop, uh, we can of course go ahead down here at the bottom and we can go ahead and trade in five keys. And then we torn will be torn into one gold key or Tokyo gold key. So 
as you can see, there are better options in just doing these and not letting them a file. But if they do a file, do not feel that bad. Maybe, maybe feel bad just a little bit. But nonetheless, you can still court trade these in and get you a replacement key. But once again, it will take five of them. So if your keys are file, make sure you do this. Do not sell them. Do not trade them away or get rid of them. So let's go ahead and talk about our other item here with casino coins. Casino coins are very important, especially if you are planning on playing NGS or you playing NGS at well, because this currency will matter for it and add well as here in the bait game as well. And as you can hear from the lady, it because we're going to be winning big at the casino. So. Every time uh, you do one of your daily here, of course, you will see you will get five of the uh, tokens every a day. So, will you go ahead and turn these in? Is of course at the wonderful dragon statue. You will find the cattle all around here in the casino. And of course, you can go ahead and uh, trade them uh, to the dragon. And the dragon will of course, reward you with a random amount of coins. It can go for me, well, from a uh, 100 all the way up to multiple hundred especially you get lucky just know this is rng uh, so you're elite guaranteed to get a hundred but sometimes you might get any more but the main reason we want to of course get the corn seat is technically twofold so first of all we can go ahead and use that corn seat to play any of the mini games that you can find here in the casino there are multiple and of course uh, by playing the game with the casino coins you will have a chance to win any more casino coins especially if you get lucky but i do gotta uh, say this here the casino itself it only using the coins and you cannot get uh, the coins with real money this is 100 percent in game by taking part in activities or getting the uh, certificate by doing your daily so don't worry there is no real money tied to this. Uh, so, once you actually have a decent amount of money in the casino coins, this will get fun. Because if we head on over and talk to any of oh, the God. people that will be selling items, we're going to be able to buy uh, some stuff. So, we do have our normal prizes. These will, of course, be a lot of cosmetic stuff. So, of course, like, such as cosmetic outfit for your character that you can unlock as well as a uh, weapon camos uh, that you can also uh, get as well uh, which it all fine and dandy which also can be used in new genesis but the main thing of interest here outside of cosmetic is all uh, limited prizes there is a whole bunch of stuff you can get here uh, such as triggers and stuff and also fishing and mining access a uh, lot it for of course gathering materials and other content that is beyond the means of this video uh, but if you want me to go into it i can i probably have videos on most of it but if you guys want to update a video just let me know but the main thing of interest beyond all that is of course our weekly star gems so star gems are very helpful especially uh, for a uh, buying of course the gotcha like grat ticket uh to get assets uh, to a whole bunch of stuff as well as the course of being able to buy other stuff uh, inside of base and new genesis that will help you out such as extra storage some time to actually sell equipment there is a lot of stuff you can buy with doll gems and doll gem is that middle corn seed between being able to get it in game as well as being able to buy with real money uh, so as you can see uh, by coming back to bait pso and doing casino elite once a week you can get your hands on a whole bunch of star gems that will help out a lot in both games and then our net tip here is once again uh, we are going back to the quest counter quest and we are here? gonna take part in story quests uh, so the main reason you want to do this is not only if you want to affiliate in the story if you want but the main reason to do this beyond seeing the content is of course by taking a part in this we can get our hands on a crap ton of item and a crap ton of star gems 
and once again dog gems are super useful any for ngs so as you complete each chapter of each of the episodes and episodes are pretty much think of them as a fanchance since these were the fanchance in pso2 but by getting a, a crap ton of dog gems that is our main goal for doing the main story just be one the main story itself is for the most part i would say probably 90 percent of it is visual novel there is a court voice acting for all of it but it's still a visual novel so uh, this is one of them content uh, that could easily take 60 to 100 hours to do all six episodes if that's not your thing don't feel bad you can of course still skip all the cutscenes and get to all six episodes in a few hours it still will take some time because there is a lot to the main story of pso and you will get your hands on the star gem and of course if you are interested in the story but you don't feel like setting through almost a hundred hours of a story content uh, i do uh, highly recommend of course the anime elites uh for episode one through three there would also anime technically like lootly tied to episode four uh but there is one that will cover episode one through three and of course, I do recommend a point to episode 6 because there's a lot of gameplay here and honestly, really good. But nonetheless, with that being said, you can get it. Don't worry, you will still unlock all of the material. Also, by going to the main story, you will unlock NPCs that will start showing up on the lobby. That then will start giving you more and more quests that you can take on to get any more loot as well as any more experience. And that is not all here because our net tip here is tied to titles. And of course, you can find the title once again in the main lobby here. Welcome. And you want to go ahead and talk to this lady. And the titles are important because they will also give you a crap ton of Thor gems. And how they tie back into doing the main story is as you uh, unlock more of the main story, you will unlock a crap ton of titles, which then will give you any more star gems and of course if you want to break down on how all that work in detail i do got a video all about it a little old but hey all these are still good videos here on youtube so link above if you're interested and of course i'm learning exactly how much star gems you can make by doing this and my final tip for all of you is of course part of my channel uh, make sure you subscribe because i have hundreds upon hundreds of pso2 and ng video since i have been making content for pso2 and new genesis for almost three years now and i have so much video that might be extremely helpful to you guys and if i somehow haven't made a video about it be sure to let me know in the comment below and i will get to work on it as well as being able to answer any uh, questions that might be pretty simple or whatever it might be. Uh, let me know in the comments and I will call, help the best to my ability. And also hopefully all my videos here will also help you as well. So if you do hit that oh wonderful subscribe button. Thank you very very much. And I hope you enjoy a PSO2 and NGS. And hopefully I can help you enjoy it any more special you sent bait game is very complex since i get to come with the territory of being over 10 years old here and you know and i want to do my best to help you guys appreciate and have fun inside a pso2 and new genesis and of course uh once again i do want to give a, a giant thank you to everybody that is supporting uh, for the months Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And of course, if you do want to support beyond subscribing here, you can call come on over uh, to uh, patreon.com slash macon, hitting uh, that wonderful button for one dollar up to I believe five now. If I remember why, I think it's five. Either way, uh, you can call support over there, get you a whole bunch of wonderful loot. And if you enjoy a uh, live streams, I do stream every day at the moment here on YouTube as well as over on Twitch tv slash troy mac on and by subscribing over there you can also be lifted as well so thank you to everybody that is supporting the channel and have been supporting the channel over the last three years thank you thank you so very much and also welcome everybody who is new to the channel and of course uh with that that gonna go ahead and do it for me 
and I will see you all in the comments.